Right, so it's probably been about two weeks now since the push-up challenge. Um, I've recorded all the other videos in the span of over the last couple of weeks. <coughs> but I thought I'll chuck in this one here. Um, explain a little bit about the push-up challenge, um, the mentality. Uh, we'll put a bit of photos in this and before and after shots and all that. Uh, I'll do a bit of a voiceover and we'll just give you guys the, I'll give you guys the rundown, the gist of everything. Uh, tell you how I'm feeling. And then uh, we'll also, I will did a bit of talking. I just want to explain the business plan. I uh, put a little bit of clarity out there just so everybody can understand the goal, the vision, uh, where we see ourselves and how we're going to go and proceed with this uh, little plan of ours. So uh, best of luck guys, you're coming along for the journey. You've always been here since day one. Uh, let's get into the video now. So, yeah. so not only did the challenge build my mind, but it also helped build my body. Uh, this is some progress and accomplishments I've made. Alright, so, well, as uh, most of us know, the push up challenge that uh, concluded not too long ago, not too long ago at all. Um, I mean, it's been a bit now, it ended on the 25th, I do believe, it's a bit over a week, but nonetheless, since that's all done, I just wanted to speak on the future of this um, business. Oh, I'd call it that. I don't know if a lot of people would look at it like that, but to me, it's what it is. Um, it's the push-up challenge, it really, it really showed you, uh, showed me a lot. Giving you something to dedicate yourself to and stick to, really built like resilience and discipline, motivation, and it just kind of like showed you just having that routine set target to hit each day could just give you something to strive for. When you beat it, oh, God, did you feel ever so good. So that's why every time that I did beat that target, I just felt great. And that's why I'm setting out little milestones, little goals each day, little things that I want to conclude uh, throughout the, I guess, the week on um, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, the YouTube, um, the website itself, just basically every social platform where I can gain eyes and just have everybody see uh, what the business is about. So, um, yeah, that's why I'm just doing, you know, Mondays um, are going to be the uh, the recipe videos. Probably do Tuesdays as the recipe. Other uh, Mondays will be the recipe itself. Then Tuesdays will be the video. Wednesdays, Canines Weekly Walk, such and such. Like, you know how it is. Do something each day. Might even then end up pushing it to doing more once I get that routine set and balanced. <clears throat> but, like, I don't know. To me, this business isn't just... You know like a business to me this is a whole lot more this is a dream an idea this is something where I could see myself you know making a living from and basically doing for the rest of my life I'm not here for the money I'm not here for the fame I'm here for the freedom the freedom to be able to do in a less egotistical way what I choose to do with myself each day like Russ did say, uh, he's a rapper. One of his songs, Why Be the Worker When You Can Be the Boss. And that's not saying you're better than everybody, that's more just saying I wanna I wanna dictate my life and the outcome of it all. And I wanna help dogs. I wanna see dogs, meet dogs, help dogs, spend time with dogs. <laughs> and apparently they wanna spend time with me. So that is the goal. That is the goal. I'll get some of this video out while I'm here at the park, but this is a long overdue one that I've wanted to do for a while. One, 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 one. And somebody wants to go for a walk. I don't know where Beavis is. This is Butthead. But that is like, I'm doing a six month challenge right now uh, with my friend Marshall. And the six month challenge, we've just, it's trying to just, we call it the self improvement challenge. We're trying to change a lot about ourselves. As um, weird as it is to say out loud, you know, no porn, no masturbation, uh, no drinking, no smoking cigarettes. Um, there's going to be no swearing. I haven't swore for a good while, which, yeah, you know, swearing doesn't really hurt, but it's also not the best. You know, it's a negative thing in the, at the end of the day. And me being a Buddhist, not fully devout, but I like to think I follow the Buddha, uh, the structure of a Buddhist. Um, that's kind of negativity isn't something that I want in my life so yeah I'll, I'll get a photo up of the board you know get a whole spread of things there. there's like 11 or 12 things and I just want everyone to know that I'm going to be solely focusing on this um, business we're going to make it incredible I'm going to put everything I can into it um, every 
ounce of advertisement. Um, I'm going to work my butt off and I'm going to just solely give everybody just the best, how the best we can. I don't know how to phrase that properly, but I'm going to give everybody the best of everything. I'm going to, I'll do it for the dogs, not for myself, but at the end of the day, there is a critical element that is for me. Um, but I do this for the dogs. The enjoyment of seeing dogs each time I go to walk them, the, the happiness of them, the, just the love and the nurture of a dog. And I, I love them. I couldn't live without them. They're beautiful. So, yeah, no, that's all I have to say right now. I'm gonna finish off the walk, but um, we'll conclude this elsewhere. Probably have a couple more things to put into it. We're gonna finish this off, go shoot the first cooking video. But I just wanted everyone to know where I came from in my mind. This isn't a story of Kai Gardner. This is more just pertaining to what I want oh, as of now, where I see this going. And I just want everybody to know that this isn't a little fun and games to make money. This isn't a little bit of just, you know, oh, you know, what can I do in my free time? What's something fun that I can do? No, this is going to be a living, but we want Comics Canines to be a household name. And not so everybody knows of us, but so I know that dogs are in good and capable, caring hands. So I know dogs all over the world are safe. And so I know that I am making a difference and a change to helping out our little fur, four-legged fur friends. But they're whimpering because they want to continue with the walk. One of them's just about chewed straight through his collar, so I suppose I better get him home before he breaks it and go buy a new one. Hey. Anyway guys, Comics Canines out for uh, momentarily. I'll see you guys in probably about 10 to 15 minutes for me and probably about a day or two for you. Uh, keep it real guys. Catches. See ya. Yeah, so after the walk from the park, I basically, uh, yeah, I had a bit of a think there while doing that too. And I thought the best way to persuade people to understand my vision for what I am trying to do is picture it as a presidential election, right? If I was trying to sell you on the fact of why Comics Canines is the way to go, why it is the best, it is simply because you probably can't see them. Oh, rats. But I literally dedicate most of my time to my dogs. Home cooked meals, always looked after. I brush their teeth, even give them everything that I can, love. I have more food for them than I do myself in here. Basically, they're not just my pets, they are my kin. They are the single handedly the most important thing to me. And not a lot of dogs do get that. You know, that's not to say that a lot of other people treat their dogs better or the same, but it's if I can love it two single animals as much as I do, why not give it to all the others, you know? And I've been working on this for over a year. I've still got more that I want to bring out, more to come. I've even got other ideas that I want to launch that aren't dog related. Comics collectibles and comics clothing. So I'm buying the material and the machinery that I need to start those two projects because, I mean, those are two other things that hold dear to my heart. Uh, I am a bit of a nerd as anybody will call it. And before anybody thinks I'm drinking alcohol, this is kombucha. Scoby made this, a symbiotic colony of bacterial yeast. Health drink, no alcohol here. I'm not doing that to myself. But, nonetheless. Oh, that's good. But nonetheless, <clears throat> I love superheroes, DC, Marvel, I love Star Wars, I love pop culture, I love cartoons, all that type of stuff. So that's what the collectible one will basically entail, is where I can sell like figurines, might even get some of the dogs made up. That would be a good way to collaborate both of the, be or the brands. And then clothing, it's not so much clothing that I like itself, but it's the fact of symbolism and wearing something that means a lot to you, you can kind of show it off to a lot more people. I kind of really like this shirt, I like my hat. You know, you can show people when you wear it, out and about people see it. Um, and I can collaborate that one as well with Comics Canines. But this is a brief overview. People probably see it and they're like, cool, somebody's doing a dog business. But there's a lot more to it uh, for me. And honestly, this could be my first YouTube video. I might put this one up. 
and it'll just solely be a simple introduction to let people understand the mind and the psychology and why I do what I do and why I do it particularly. But um, if I was to sum it up, basically start from scratch, give you the introductory and let you know why you can trust me. It's A, I care about dogs more than literally anything else in this world. Um, <clears throat> I have four, which is, you know, people have more, but four is a lot to handle and I loved every moment of it. I'm patient with them, which does, you know, take it in the long run. I literally have the key components of just love and nurture. Love them to death is all I'm trying to basically say. Um, I want to change the world, but I want to change the dog world. And that's why I want it to be a household name, as I previously have stated. It's more just, if I know that I'm helping and touching all the dogs with everything that I can formulate for my dogs, I am winning. I am winning. Um, thirdly, simply because I want to do everything that there isn't. That makes sense. A lot of the dog stuff that we don't have, but seem like we do need, or I want it to be affordable, I want it to all be in one location, locally sourced, um, anything like that. Like just literally the, the Tesla. Tesla innovated. Like he didn't create, like, not he, but like Elon Musk didn't create electric vehicles, but he innovated electric vehicles, <coughs> made them better than they previously were, and he's building rockets and all that. He wasn't the first to do either of those, but he is the one who we look at and think, wow, okay. That's who we associate with it. Apple, not the first to make phones and computers. Um, Facebook, not the first social media platform. But they were the most innovative in every single aspect of what they did that they're the first you think of when you think of that category. That's what I want to do for the dog community. And simply, that's why, because um, of especially with Buddhism, um, I try to always do what's best, not what is, you know, it's going to, there's never going to be a negative outcome with everything I try to do, and that's why I did this. Cute. But, um, that's the, that's the board there, the six-month self-improvement challenge. Give me the resilience, determination, discipline, all of those key factors to be able to do what I do to the best and most efficient um, methods possible. But, um, yeah, I don't know if there's a lot more to really say. I'm very passionate about this. I wanted to go places, I wanted to go far. And I really hope you'll bring Comics Canines into your household. We have more things coming, more things that will be happening. It's going to be pretty expansive, it's going to be massive, and there's going to be, <laughs> there's going to be an option for everybody. But uh, comics canines too. The um, there's a little bit. There's a little fun fact trivia for you. Comics. Where that come from? About five years ago, started that Instagram page, Comics EU, Comics Extended Universe. That was my first ever Instagram. Didn't go like massive, but it was pretty good. And that was uh, all about superhero facts, fun facts, all of that. Then I started Comics Canines, and I wanted to be a superhero themed <coughs> kind of dog thing which I will do with due time. It's going to basically mainly I'll be kind of pushed towards that, but not only that, because I needed to hit every demographic, really. As I said, I want to do the best thing for dogs, not myself, but comics is just a moniker I've been going under for a good couple of years now, and I want to keep it that way. So that's the uh, comic story for you, but nonetheless, um, we'll keep it at that for the meantime. I just wanted to spread some wisdom and motivation and let everybody know that um, I'm not going to ever give up. I'm letting everybody see the inspiration I have to do what I do, why I want to do it, how I'm going to do it, and I'm bringing all of you with me. Yeah, but this is uh, this has been Comics Canines, Kai Gardner, and uh, I thank you all so much. Honestly, we're not even that far in, but everybody has helped so much, and I'm already making making a bigger difference and change than I ever thought possible when I started it and there's still much more room to grow but um yeah I guess I'll go fix this up and we'll make it the first YouTube video eh? I'm gonna go cook some food for my dogs make some peanut butter and uh, cinnamon little uh, 
little cups, kind of like doggy Reese's pieces, and I'm gonna cook them some meatloaf and some meatballs, and they can be dinned in. So, uh, <laughs> have a good one, guys. Make sure to show photos for you. See ya.